When we think of ancient Greeks, we often imagine beastly men with well-chiseled bodies, ironing out their hostilities in endless gory battles thanks to Hollywood. But what if I told you that the Greeks were big on hospitality despite their mischaracterization in movies? In fact, so big was their hospitality that refusing to give or accept it was considered a mortal sin deserving of grave punishment. Can you imagine welcoming a stranger into your home with no questions asked? Neither can I. But then again, I'm not Greek, so there's that. But what was the rationale behind their selfless generosity? The reasons just might surprise you. In ancient Greece, strangers were given kingly, or if you will, queenly treatments, sometimes to the detriment of the host's comfort. This was referred to as pheosonia, the love for strangers. Unlike modern times, when we are ready to dial 911 whenever a stranger shows up at our door, oh, don't tell me you haven't done that, the Greeks actually prayed in hopes that strangers would pass by their homes. And if a benevolent spirit did answer their request, voila, they've won a lottery ticket. The host would welcome them inside and wash the stranger's hands and feet, and then wipe them clean, not minding the hygiene. They were just happy to welcome their guests. Once the stranger had settled in, a banquet fit for the gods was thrown. The guests welcomed themselves to the best portions of food and wine and were encouraged to eat until they couldn't manage another bite. Modern etiquette demands that guests leave a few crumbs of food on their plates in order to not come off as gluttons. But Greek hosts didn't mind their guests gulping down everything, including the plate. But what was the genesis for such high standards of altruism? It might sound incredible, maybe ludicrous, but the Greeks thought that their gods could turn into strangers to test their pheosonia. And since they couldn't tell which stranger was a deity and which one wasn't, they welcomed anyone and everyone. Imagine mistreating an old ragged stranger only to discover that she was Ares, the goddess of strife, or even Hera, the evil jealous wife of Zeus. Trust me, even Hades, the god of the underworld, won't accept your soul, provided you've got one. However, if you're lucky enough to have Zeus visit you, disguised as a human, and you put your best hospitality foot forward, then you're set for this life and the next. According to Greek mythology, Philemon and Baucis were a poor elderly couple that resided on the outskirts of their village. One evening, while brooding over what to eat the next day, two disheveled old beggars came up to their doorstep. Philemon wanted to turn them away because they didn't have enough food for themselves and the strangers. However, his wife pulled him aside and reminded him of the mortal sin of refusing to grant hospitality to strangers. Quickly, Philemon composed himself and welcomed his visitors with the widest and sincerest grin. They served the largest portion of the meal to their guests and gave them the best wine they had in their storage. However, while eating, Philemon noticed a strange phenomenon and drew his wife's attention. He told his wife that the person watching this video is enjoying it. So give us a thumbs up, will you? And perhaps even subscribe to our channel. Oh, and don't forget the notifications bell. We wouldn't want you to miss any updates on new videos we upload. Anyway, Philemon noticed that regardless of how much wine they poured for these old men, their cups never ran dry. It was as if the cup was miraculously filling up each time they took a sip. Only then and there did the couple realize that they were hosting divine visitors. Philemon then called for the sharpest knife in his cabinet to attack and eat the strangers. No, I'm only kidding. I'm just seeing if you're paying attention. But seriously, no. He retrieved his sharpest knife to slay their only goose for the guests. But Zeus saved the hapless animal's life. After all, goose lives matter. Yes, I'm sure that will eventually become a hashtag. However, with a wave of the hand, the guests transform from mortals to full divinity and splendor. Touched by their show of generosity, Zeus instantly transformed their small craggy cottage into a magnificent temple. He then granted them long lives of abundance and happiness, and when they passed, he transformed them into trees, placing them at each side of the temple's door. Trees? Seriously? Eternity as a tree? Well, okay. Thank you. Sadly, humans always find creative means of compromising every wonderful institution, as they did with Greek Theosania. 
A typical example was when Paris, the Prince of Troy, abused a Greek king's hospitality by capturing and running away with his wife Helen. Needless to say, he was sent to meet his maker, probably to answer for his insolence. Also, hosts who refused hospitality were not spared, as evidenced by the fate of the Cyclops when Odysseus and his sailors paid a visit to his island. Instead of practicing fears and ear, the one-eyed Cyclops saw them as dinner, so he fired up his barbecue and prepared himself for some sailor stew. Consequently, the very fire he used to roast a few of the sailors became the weapon that plucked out his only eye rendering him sightless on an island where he was the only inhabitant. I guess he didn't see that one coming. <laughs> okay, right, moving on. Now, the infamous abuse of Phiozenia was the sailors who visited Penelope, the wife of Odysseus. Knowing very well that Penelope was obliged to acquiesce to their every request, the sailors made some, shall we say, unreasonable demands. Believing that Odysseus was long dead, these sailors took turns asking for Penelope's hand in marriage and pressured her to accept their proposals. As the story goes, Odysseus returned and saw that Penelope was being a bit perhaps too hospitable. So in a fit of rage, he slew all the men, marking their bodies so everyone would know what happened to guests who take advantage of Phiozenia. And Penelope, of course. So the question remains, why was Phiozenia such a big deal in ancient Greece? Well, traveling in those days was no easy feat as one could spend days, even weeks on the road. And the nearest 7-Eleven in Motel 6 was about 2,000 years away. So, though while there were a few inns, that today we would call lodges or hotels, but those were quite expensive and many travelers couldn't afford them. And obviously those inns were few and far in between, which proved dangerous for travelers as they became exposed to highwaymen. So, the best option was to create a system that allowed travelers to feel the warmth and safety of staying with a host. Also, the Greeks believed that Phiozenia would bring them good fortunes, as evidenced by the myth of Philemon and his wife. Being generous would give them a good name, as guests would spread the good news of their hospitality to other strangers they meet along the way. As their reputation spread, so did their fame, and before long, their names would be all over the place and in the hearts of all their guests. After all, a good name is better than riches, but the money does help. So if you had the power to go back in time, would you choose ancient Greece as your destination? I definitely would, as this Penelope lady seems quite popular. But mind you, ancient Greece isn't all rainbows and ice cream. It has filthy secrets that may be stomach churning, as explained in this video. So be sure to watch it so you can avoid any surprises, and I'll see you there. Until next time, thanks ever so much for watching.